The campus dates back to the 1860s, uh, and it was originally owned by a, by a private college called the College of California. And they hired Frederick Law Olmsted, um, who today is known as the father of landscape architecture. Um, and he did a plan for the campus. But one of the things he said was, look, there's this great view towards the Golden Gate and the campus building should orient themselves. So as you're on the campus, you look out at this view. Um, the sighting of putting a tower there, looking down a axis between the buildings directly at the Golden Gate is a, is a consequence of that. The Campanile Moor directly is a product of 19, late 19th century architecture. And in Paris, there's a, a school that's still there called the Ecole de Beaux-Arts. And that, in the 19th century, that's where you went to learn architecture and uh, fine design. So many uh, European architects, but also American architects went there, including John Galen Howard, who is the designer of our Campanile. It's a wonderful symbol. You'll see it all over university imagery on uh, you know, t-shirts and mugs and pictures and all. A, a lot of campuses don't have something like that. That's that's a beautiful physical icon. It's a spectacular view out over the Bay Area and you are looking right through the Golden Gate, um, which has heavy symbolism in California history because of the uh, California seeing itself as the edge of the continent and opening out to the Pacific. Uh, so so there you, there you are, this view right through the Pacific.